Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be going over Subageki 12. It is a major happening this weekend and I know there's a lot of crisis going on right now. People are freaking out. Don't panic. We are going to be absolutely fine. We've got two majors to watch this weekend and then there's a little bit of a break for players which honestly they kind of probably needed anyway. So it sucks but a look on the bright side. It could be it could be worse. We could not be having these majors at all. But luckily we do get these two and for Subageki we have Aquila as the first seed, Mia as second, Kameme as 3rd, Kome as 4th, now Nabodago as 5th, Repo and Paseriman as 7th, and then ninth place we have, I believe Yama is one of them, I think it's Yama, Noi, Futari, and Shiryuki, then 13th is Aka, I am Huto, and Yak. and then you also have a bunch of other good players here, like you have Subo Subo, TKM, Kept, SSR, Umeki, Takara, uh, uh, Tai Kai, I believe that's how you say that, someone told me how, I forgot, but it, if I think that's how you say it. Hopefully I got it right. And then, um, Manzuko, all in the 17th spot. And then we also have a bunch of amazing players here. T, Takara. But we're not going to be able to talk about them all. Unfortunately, if there's a player that gets left out, please just let me know down below. We're going to be focusing mainly on the top eight. And the thing that surprises me the most is going to be now in that fifth place our seed. Now, no shots to now. He's doing very well. He's one of the best players in Japan right now. Like, definitely best Japanese Mario. Not best Mario in the world. Not even close, probably. Because Karama is just, like on another level right now but i don't think he's done anything like super crazy lately to get that seed like fifth is really high he did get ninth ninth at Suma in october which is actually very good and then third at this term or ninth at this tournament as well second at uh hstsp but it's like you you look at someone like aka who just got third at oh god i forget the i forget the major it was the winner that it was just randomly a major like you have aka who just got third and he's the 13th seed like it just doesn't make a ton of sense for me maybe he'll prove me wrong he probably will because the last time i said this about like another jet i think i said it about hikaru during uh ufa and then he you know he shut me up so i guess we'll see if now does that here he definitely has a chance of course because he's absolutely amazing i just think he's a little overseeded and then I honestly don't really have problems with anyone else, honestly. Abadango here makes sense. Koma here makes sense. Mia Akhler are 100% top two seeds. Kamehameha third seed as well. I think these three are pretty set in stone. And then Kome, Abadango, Pisariman, and Repo. I could see most of them being moved. I would probably still have Kome in there, at least a little, because he did just have a really good run at Kowloon as well. And then Shiryuki maybe could be moved up, but also I don't think he's had any very, very good runs since his amazing run at Meisuma. Hey, we get there. <laughs> we get there eventually. So he has a 13th at Suma and Bato, 7th at this Suma and Bato, which is actually pretty good, beating Pisariman there as well. 25th at this Meisuma, 2nd at this Meisuma. He's been doing very well recently. I could see him, honestly, as a top 8 seed. The fact that he's ninth, it's not like crazy crazy, but I can, it's like it's not, it's not unmanageable. Uh, Yama makes sense there, Noi as well, and then Futari as well. He's just absolutely amazing. I I have to imagine Aka overperforms his seed. It feels lame to predict him already, but like 13th for someone that just got third and got the wins that he did is very low. Like he beat Proto Bonham. That cannot be understated. He did absolutely just insane last week or yeah, last week. And I have to imagine, honestly, he does it again. He keeps that momentum. Omeki as well, though, so they're, they're bound to run into each other. But either Omeki or Aka makes a run. And I'm going to guess it's Aka. Who, actually, who does Aka lose to? in winners because that could super change things he loses to Akola. okay so apparently hero is the steve slayer i don't think that's true but maybe it is and then also aqua is like really really good so i will you know i'll give aqua the benefit of the doubt here because it's kind of hard not to but it's not impossible like out of any of the players at this tournament he probably has the best shot, to be honest, just because of his character. And then, like, actually, him or, like, maybe Komei as well. Because I think Komei, or, like, Shulk does decent against Steve. Not like, incredible, but I think he, he does decent. Uh, I want to look at Abadonga's run as well. Because he's been, not on a bit of a downside, because he's getting, like, 13th, 17th. But, like, it isn't those two runs that we saw out of him where he got top top three of ECA and then second at, I believe, a Kagurimi, that The one that Mia won, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he's supposed to beat Gorika, who I believe he does beat. I think that's... Oh, God. He plays joker well not close i tried but i do think abadango still takes that because he plays pikachu and pikachu is one of the few characters that actually does pretty decent against joker and then noi same thing i think he just probably beats noi and then kameme is actually i'm not sure i'm gonna check their their set record against each other abadango and kameme i don't think they've played in a very long time and i'm also only gonna be looking at uh post-quarantine stuff because you know they are all playing different characters at the time especially Kamehameha so they are six and eight they played four months ago at Kagurimi where Abadongo did take it but then at Wave Kamehameha took it so it looks like they are going pretty back and forth in Abadongo's favor Kamehameha's favor 
but offline only, it's still commitment saver. More so. So, but a lot of this is again like these. All of these, I'm pretty sure, are before. Uh, before I mean like pre quarantine. So, it's looking like Abadonga has been winning it more recently. So maybe he he could has he could make it. I don't know. It went over form his seed yet, but I think I think he could do it. Mia Pisari, man, that's tricky because we've seen it done before with Light and Meister. But Mia is arguably better than Meister, and Light is definitely better than Perseri Man. So that is that's tricky. I th Mia probably takes that is really unfortunate. Yuck could beat Mia as well. I feel like Cloud might do okay against Game of Watch just because of like your massive sword. You can actually space around up out of shield, but then also like I don't know how it recovers, so maybe not. And then Yuzu, I feel like Mia should beat. Uh, Fatari has to fight SSR. That's Rob Ices. Which could uh, it could go either way? I'm not. I don't. I have. I have no idea. That could literally go either way. Who is now supposed to fight though? He's supposed to fight Futari Chicken. Um, uh, Mario I think does really well against Ices because his back throw is just incredible for that matchup. And then among other things, his combo game is really good. Cape can be pretty useful as well. Chicken is Diddy. I'm pretty sure he still plays Diddy. So that I don't know how Diddy Mario actually is. I mean, we saw Tweak win it at Port Priority, but that, again, same thing. Krama is a better Mario and. Diddy or Tweak is a better Diddy, so maybe it's more polarizing. Obviously, it's like not by like such a crazy belt that it's like super different, but it's like you take the best two characters in the world and then you're taking like top five reps of the character, you know? So it's going to be interesting for sure. I could see that upset happening though. Like, I, no disrespect to any of the players, obviously. I just, I think it could happen. Uh, Aqua fights Tubo Subo as well. I want to find a loser's run that I want to look at. Momon. Momon's supposed to lose to Menzuko. Uh, I feel like Momon should beat Manzuko. Who's supposed to lose to in winners? Because if Momon is a good shot against the person in winners, then I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him credit that. So he's supposed to lose to Teriguri. This looks right. Banjo, Banjo versus Ridley. Hmm. On one hand, it's Banjo, but on the other hand, it's <laughs> Ridley. But I honestly. I'm going to give it to Momon. And honestly, it's probably just because I'm not as familiar with uh, Tirigori. Or Tir... Hold on. Tori Guri, I believe that's how you say it. But then, uh, saying he does beat Tori Guri, let's see who he would fight in winner's side. Because that also does matter a lot as well. He would have to fight... Oh, he has to fight Akula. Ah, uh, damn. Um, He shouldn't beat Akula with Ridley. He just should not. Not impossible. It should not be happening. And then... Tori Guri is supposed to lose to. Hmm, let's see here. He's supposed to lose to Subo Subo, which is Olimar. Olimar Ridley, again, it's really tough, but I also think Momon is just incredible. I think he's such a good player. It's actually unreal. I don't think I will predict it, though, just because he does have to fight Akla, which is like, if he makes the upset, you're basically not guaranteed to go to losers, but you have a. You have a pretty good chance. And I'm actually going to guess SSR. I feel like SSR is someone we haven't seen have a run in a long time. I think his last good run, at least the like super good one that I remember, was his Kagaribi one. I think the one it was the one Akula one, or it might be Akula Zachary. It's been a bit. But he got 5th at Suman Bato, was actually pretty good, being Shiryuki there as well. 25th at Suman Bato, 13th at the winner is actually, or a weekly Smash Party, but again, in Japan, it's not actually that bad. 25th at Meisuma is pretty good, 25th, so it seems like he's usually populating that 25th, 33rd, 17th spot. The last Subageki, he did not do great, but also, like, he got upset round one and then. He lost uh, twice, so I don't know how that worked, but he it seems like he made a pretty deep loser's run. Kagribi 8, this is the one that I believe Mia won, actually. So maybe he's just like a Kagribi guy. But I'm still going to predict him because I think he can beat uh, Futari. I just think Ice Climbers Rob, you should win. And then same thing with Now. I think he has a pretty decent chance against Now. Out of all the players that are like in top 8 that you have to fight at this stage, Now is probably one of the best that he has. <laughs> maybe like Yama as well, just because like Luigi. And then let's say he does lose, though. He goes into losers against Noi. I forget who Noi plays. So let's look it up. I'm going to guess... Falco. It's Olimar. Damn, Japan has so many Olimars. Oh my god. I guess Shuton kind of dropped the character, but not really. Noi has been doing pretty good recently. 13th at Beisum is really good. 9th at Wave is actually incredible. 13th at Kagurabi. What is Noi seated? He's seated 9th. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I think SSR can do it. I think that's really tough, but I don't think it's impossible. And then, saying he does beat them both, though, he has to go into Kome, which is also fairly tricky, but if he loses to Kome, 
then he would go against Yama, which is Luigi Rob. So he he could probably win Luigi Rob, honestly. So I think SSR has a bracket path to top eight. And the same thing with, honestly, oh, who did I mention before? I think it was uh, Akka as well. Yeah, I think Akka has a chance. Shiryuki is a tough opponent, Abadongo as well, but he's just been playing so incredibly well these past couple of months. Or like, I mean, he doesn't really go to a ton of stuff, so just that last tournament just gave me so much faith in him. I just think he's incredible, and I am honestly very surprised at how low he's seeded. People to win the entire thing, uh, I mean, we don't predict the top two. I think Avadago, I really think he does have a shot. I think he's just really, really strong. The only person that's, like, super standing in his way is Mia did kind of bop him the last time they played, and then Akala is Akala, which is tough. Paseriman has to go through Mia and Akala. Again, it's like, who can beat Paseriman and, uh, or who can beat Mia and Akala? And I want to say Akka, but I've already predicted something, so I won't. Repo, Mega Man is, okay, Loki, Repo can do it. I think, like, that's a matchup he can win for both of those characters. Not saying he probably will, but I'm saying he could, so he'll be my first one. Kamehameha, I think, is the obvious, like, third place choice, because one, he's the third seed, but also, like, he has a pretty decent record against Mia, even though Mia did take it the last time that they played. And then, uh, Shulk, Steve, is a doable matchup, at least, compared to, like, some of the other matchups. And then, outside the top eight, I'm gonna predict Shiryuki, honestly. He's just, like... He looks so strong. When he's playing well, I think he really can do it. His neutral is just absolutely incredible. He's he's an amazing player. I hope he does well this tournament, and I I, mean, I imagine he does. And yeah, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If there's a top player that I left out, please let me know down below because there's like a bunch of amazing people here we didn't talk about just because we don't have the time for all of that. But yeah, videos are going to keep coming out as normal. Situation sucks right now, but we'll keep spinning, and, so, and we keep moving on. Like, you know, you got it. It sucks. We got to deal with it. We're going to be... Fine. We're going to be fine. That's what I'm trying to say here. And yeah, thank you for the support. It means the world to me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.